So these are my two Springador dogs. Uh, this is Poppy. So Poppy will be two years old in August. Her father was a Labrador and her mother was a Springer Spaniel. And I've had her out, I got her when she was 11 months old and uh, I had her out shooting a little bit um, at the start of the year and she got two woodcock and a duck I think it was two woodcock, kind of about two or three and uh, she's just had seven puppies not really puppy so and this over here is Loki he's also a spring door his father was also a Labrador and his mother was also a Springer Spaniel. Uh, he'd be 10 in October and I've had him since he was 10 weeks old, just about to turn 11 weeks. And uh, I've done loads of hunting with him over the years. Um, he's retrieved off, off of land, off of rivers, across rivers, off of lakes. Um, he's retrieved duck, woodcock, pheasant, and uh, even a fox once. <laughs> um, and he is the father of the puppies. So he came from Skibreen, and Poppy down there came from County Mayo. Um, so, like, for people who be wondering about a uh, genetic diversity of of dogs, you know, and how the overbreeding of certain strains, certain dogs, certain lines, you know, has caused problems over the years as well. You know, these dogs are nearly 10 years apart, well, eight years apart, and uh, come from opposite ends of the country, and uh, are both mixed bred dogs. So, yeah, go get the puppies. So, these are the seven puppies. Um, hey, give me that. Stop eating stones. God damn it. <laughs> so, these are the seven puppies. Um, five, five boys, two girls. Um, so, hello little dogs. Oh, good dogs. I oh, love little dogs. Five boys, two girls. Um, so the two black ones are gone, um, but the rest are available. So we have this little brown and white girl, she's got lovely markings, oh, she's going to be a great dog. Um, but a bit of a handful I'd say, she's just got this, uh, you know, very cheeky confidence, you know, that kind of, what you look for in like a, in a full springer or whatever. Um, I'd say she'd be a great little hunter as well. Um, and this is the other girl. So she's kind of got like a a map of Ireland on her side. It looks like she's going to have curly ears. Aren't you little girl? Aren't you little girl? Um, the other girl looking like she's going to have flat ears. Um. You know, the flat ears is something that I think is cool um, because we were plagued with uh, springers over the years, you know, having problems with their ears, you know, mites and fecking. Uh, but anyway. Um, so then we have this fella. He's one of the boys. A little dog. Got a big head on him. Uh, very chill dog. Um, and then we have the famous brown fella, the one that everyone falls in love with straight away. Um, so, um, got a phone call there down in the middle of this, I don't know, is it still recording? God, that every time I try to do something fucking Anyway, Murphy's Law. So I can't see the screen with this thing.
Um, right, where was I? I think this might be getting way too long already. So, this is the other boy. Uh, mad kind of dog as well. Um, so yeah, that's that. So there are five puppies available. Three boys and two girls. And the two black dogs are gone. Um, yeah, and the Brownfield as well. I'd nearly keep him myself as well. It's a really hard decision to make. I'm going to be tempted to keep two of them. <laughs> and maybe stud them out or something. Um, so yeah, this video is going to go out to subscribers first, hopefully. Um, for anyone who's been following the channel and I know some of you uh, specifically subscribe to the channel uh, with the idea of maybe getting getting a dog at some stage um, so yeah they're going getting chipped and vaccinated uh, tomorrow and then uh, they'll be advertised during the week uh, but I just want to give subscribers you know kind of like first opportunity um, uh, to come and see them and maybe put an offer on them because uh, that's the other thing um, you know like uh, yeah when it comes to talking about money um, you know how do you put a value on these dogs um, so basically um, there's only one fella seems to be doing this on a yearly basis up the country um, outside of that they only come up very randomly like it was accidental or whatever you know and they're all spring adorers like Loki and Poppy they're mixed spring adorers uh, but these are pups created by two spring adore dogs so I don't know is there anybody else doing that um, yeah, Loki and Poppy type dogs. Uh, there's a guy selling them for 450 euro. Um, so that's will give you an idea of where I would like offers to possibly be. Um, so yeah, you know you can you can read ads. Um, going on about you know dogs and stuff, but like, what's cooler than having like, you know, your whole dog's life documented from the very start? Do you know, you can take one of these puppies and go onto YouTube and see your little puppy being brought into this world, and you know everything that happened with your puppy up until you got them. Like, you know what I mean? And I think that's kind of priceless in a way, you know. Um, you know, there's no more concrete evidence than video evidence. Um, and plus the other thing, if you are following the videos and you have been subscribed, um, you know there's been no expense spared with the, these dogs, you know. They've been given uh, premium and super premium, well, mostly super premium dog food and a bag of premium dog food, which didn't really work out too much, but... Yeah, I still have to figure that out. Um, so anyway, there are my little puppies. Uh, if you're interested, my email address is in the channel description. Um, it's springadoredogs at gmail.com. Uh, send me an email. Um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So thanks very much.